Just a little dizzy, that's all. But what do you expect? 20 minutes squeezing into this ruffled straitjacket. Two hours with a quaff. And a whole night being just as bad as chic as I'm going to get. And still Gabby, Dr. McIntyre. Oh, and still Dr. McIntyre? Trapper? Gabrielle? <laughs> <laughs> I propose a toast. To Gabrielle's debut with the symphony. I'll drink to that. And to your new boat, Dr. McIntyre. Oh, thank you. You know, they say the happiest day of your life is when you buy a boat. They say the second happiest day is the day he sells it. Victoria, yeah. shame on you. Yeah, yeah, to my happy day. Oh, you're almost out of bread and cheese. I'll be right back. Please, allow me. Oh, what a guy. Uh, if you're really serious. I will assist you with the brie and cheddar surgeries, Dr. Kajuska. That leaves me the sourdough bypass. I'll go scrub. Gabriel plays with the grace of Paderewski. Paderewski? Yes. <laughs> You're a child, Miss Kozlo. How could you have heard Paderewski play? My mother had a recording of his music. I listened to it hour after hour. <laughs> My uh, grandfather saw him play once in Warsaw. Did you ever have a chance, Doctor, in Poland? Me? No. Doctor Gates, who might your favorite pianist be? Well, it's a toss-up between George Gershwin and Billy Joel. Rhapsody in Blue and Root Beer Rag both knock me out. <laughs> the Gonzo is beginning to make sense to me. <laughs> Where in Poland are you from, Doctor? I was born in Gdansk. <gasps> oh, my favorite city. But, uh... Our family moved when I was a boy. Moved? Where? To Bidgosht. Bidgosht? 
We are neighbors then. I am from Poznan. Uh, tell me, doctor, did your family work in the shipyards in Bitgosht? Shipyards? Mm. There are no shipyards in Bitgosht. It's 175 kilometers from the sea. Oh, you are right. Stupid of me. Don't worry about it. Your secret is safe with me. We Poles must stick together. Please. Solidarity. <laughs> Where in the hospital do you work, Miss Kozlo? Oh, I work in the employee cafeteria. Her future's not in hash slinging, though, Victor. It's just part-time while she works on her master's in night school. Please. <gasps> oh, I'm terribly sorry, doctor. Please forgive me. No. I feel so badly. It's all right. There's no damage done. <gasps> but it, it... No, no, really. It's your first surgery. It is to be expected. <gasps> I, I, I'm so embarrassed. Victor, come here, hurry. What is it? Bonnie's made it. Her uh, pulse is thready. Uh, let's get her to Memorial. Careful. Gabriel. I got her. Sorry, I won't be long. Don't worry, I'll wait. <laughs> Let's get her in room two. Sophia and I will wait here. I'm supposed to wear a tie with that, Gates. Yuck, I hate hospitals. They scare me to death. <laughs> Nonsense. I'm here with you. Like always. Like forever. Eyes blurry, huh? Yes. I can barely feel your hand. My fingers are... Tingling? Yes. How are your ears? Are they ringing? Big bells or little ones? Wagner or Schumann? Schumann. Is that good or bad? Medically or musically. BP on the left side slightly lower than the right. Pulse is weak, too. Am I going to be okay? You are the granddaughter of the maestro. Not only does your physician work miracles, but he does it in black tie. Genius and style for the princess. What are you doing here? Oh, I was looking for... Aren't you the new girl... In the hospital cafeteria. Yes. Sophia Kozlo, I can explain. I certainly hope so. You don't have any business going through hospital personnel files. It's embarrassing. I was just trying to find out more about a certain doctor. And who, pray tell, might that be? Dr. Gates. Well, you're not the first girl who's tried to get into Dr. Gates's files. Sophia? You're new here. Don't let it happen again, okay? I'm sorry. There are times when I just do not use my head. I've noticed. Good night. Good night. What is it about Dr. Gates that makes all the... Dr. Riverside, what seems to be the problem? She's got a whale of a stomach at Doctor. Mm -hmm. uh, we were having dinner at the seafood place about an hour ago, and she started getting these pains. Maybe Kathy ate some bad shellfish or something. Kathy, is your name Kathy Morrison? No, uh, Kathy Stringer. It's amazing. You look like a girl I went to high school with. Her name was Kathy Morrison. My name is Stringer, not Morrison, Doctor. <laughs> Well, they say everyone in the world has a twin. I went to Crawford Prep. I didn't. Pressure's 130 over 80. Yeah. Okay, uh, Miss Stringer, have you had your appendix out? No. Well, I think you're about to. Kegler, Miss Stringer is a possible appendix. Let's get a white count, flat plate of the abdomen, urinalysis, an SMA panel, and alert Dr. Lester. Lester's in Seattle at a tennis tournament. Okay, then call Titus. Titus is at home with the shingles. What about Caraway? Caraway, then. Call him. Okay, okay. <laughs> Dr. 
I'm not her big brother, Ernie. You got her the job. You tell her to watch her step. She could lose her job, Don. She looked at my file. Big deal. She said she looked at your files. Actually, she looked at Dr. Kujuska's file. Okay, okay, I'll talk to her. Sophia has something for Victor. I mean, I, I could have been dreaming, but I think I just saw her take his iced tea glass, wrap it in a napkin, and tuck it away for safekeeping. Guys, if you think this chick's such a criminal, why don't we just call the cops? For what? Grand theft tableware? Sophia, I think we should talk. Well, could be tomorrow? I have a test coming up in my night class, and I really need to study for it. Really? What are you taking? History of iced tea glasses 101? Please do not interfere. Come on, Sophia. We know something's going on. this please do not touch that what is this guy a stormtrooper ss or what he is obersturm fiera josef schreiber first lieutenant in hitler's ss how he's so young mm. he was only 22 when that photo was taken the wunderkind of the Nazweiler concentration camp Please do not touch these. These are very valuable to us. Us? Somehow Aunt Mui and the egg salesman do not fit into this picture. I lied about knowing your aunt. You've lied about a couple of things, haven't you? I work for the Israeli government. Ah, uh, wait a minute. Are you telling us that between night classes and tuna casserole and memorial that you're chasing Nazis? I think that's exactly what she's telling us, JT. I am looking for the man responsible for the deaths of 120,000 people. My father looked for him for over 25 years, all over the world. He died without finding him because he made mistakes, but I won't. I know everything there is to know about Joseph Schreiber, his mother. His father, his favorite wine, his favorite music. I know him like no one else in the world knows him. And now I know where he is. He is at San Francisco Memorial Hospital. Obersturm Fiera, Josef Schreiber, and Dr. Victor Kozusko are the same man. The Wonder King. Why don't you just call the police, or the FBI, or whoever it is you call when you think you found a Nazi? Proof. Proof positive that Victor Kozlowski was Josef Schreiber. How do you prove that these fingerprints are the same as your Wunderkind? I sent a slide to Israel. We have Schreiber's fingerprints on file there. The handwriting samples, the medical and dental records, all will be compared to those we have on file there. Hematology says the blood type on the paper towel is O. o positive. Schreiber is O positive. So are millions of other people. O positive is the most common blood type. If Victor Kozusko is who I think he is, he has an SS tattoo under his left arm that says O positive. Tattoo, that's great. Well, that'll do us a lot of good. I would prefer you both stay out of this. If he feels anyone closing in on him, he may run again. If I lose him, I may never find him. Well, come on. You do not believe what I say, do you? Are you serious? Victor's a brilliant surgeon. Kids and dogs love him. 
Not to mention hospital board members and honchos from both political parties. When I was this tall, he taught me how to play golf, and now you're calling him a mass murderer. He is Josef Schreiber. He was born in Gunsberg, older than our Germany. He is responsible for the death of 120,000 people. Maybe you're wrong. No. You were wrong before when you asked me about those shipyards in Bidgosh. Bidgosh. Whatever. Schreiber is clever. If he chose Poland as his camouflage, he would be sure to know everything there is to know about it. No, he is lying. Why should we believe you? Why would I travel halfway around the world, spend six years of my life just to prove he is a Nazi? Why? Maybe because your father couldn't. Maybe you're trying real hard to see something that isn't there. Wait until I get my answer on this. You will see. You will believe. I'd like to explain my behavior the other day in the ER. Uh, you see, I really did think you were this girl that I went to high school with. What was her name? Kathy Morrison? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I didn't mean to be intrusive about it, but you look so much like her. Must have been some crush. She was the most beautiful girl I ever saw in my life. And she was everything. She was prom queen, homecoming queen, uh, most likely to succeed. And I was enormously affected. But she had every boy in school after her? Yes. Yes, and I was this 16-year-old dip. <laughs> they call them nerds now, I think. They call them dips back then. <laughs> I don't believe it. You, a dip? Oh, yes. Yes, I was. God, I couldn't eat, I couldn't sleep, but she just drove me crazy. This is embarrassing. <laughs> no, it's sweet. Go on. Well... I, um, I bought this locket, you know, the kind you put the picture into, and, um, I put my annual picture in it, and I left it on her desk, and think, on Valentine's Day. <laughs> then I ran away. Did she like it? She never said a word about it. That was cruel. Well, a dopey little locket from a, a dip. What can you expect? I haven't seen her since graduation. I always imagine she probably became a model, married a count or a prince, lived in a castle. But I often wish that I'd get a chance to see her again. Why? She was so mean to you. Well... I became a doctor. I'm married to the most wonderful woman in the world. We have a beautiful baby boy. And I kind of wish sometimes that uh, she could know that the dip turned out all right. I must be boring you to tears. No, no. I'm just tired. I'd like to sleep, doctor, if you don't mind. Of course. Well, um, I'm glad that you're feeling better, and um, I'll look in again on you sometime. Hmm? Okay, I can't get it right anyways. Yeah? Why don't you show me? No, really. My left hand isn't behaving lately. Well, you're in luck. You happen to be looking at the relief pitcher for all delinquent southpaws. Hmm? Scoot over. All right. You start. Okay. Do you know Beethoven? Let's find out. Burn 
those keys, girl. Mm -hmm. You okay? I don't know. I get dizzy. My hand, it gets numb. My ears ring. I'm so scared. Shh, it's okay, it's okay. What do you think you're doing? She's just a little upset, that's all. She's gonna be okay. What kind of doctor are you, anyway? Her tests haven't told us what's wrong with her. She's sick, and yet you have her out of bed and walking around? Grandpa, don't be angry with him. It's my fault. I came here. You are not to touch her again. Do you understand? Dr. Kosciuszko, are you serious? We were just playing the piano. You are nothing but a resident here. You do as you're told. Excuse me, doctor, but you could probably... Don't you dare address a senior member don't of the staff in that I'll have, I'll have, have you in... Some other Bring a gurney. Get some oxygen, quick. Rothberg. No. It's the best we got, next to you. He's a fine physician, I give you that. But no, in this case, a different man is needed. Well, who do you want? You? Oh, no. Gabriel knows you, trusts you. She would choose you as well. The, the carotids of clavian into side anastomoses have been iffy at best. It's very complicated. That's why I'm using microvascular technique. I don't think I'm your man. I've only done carotid subclavian bypass grafts. I'm not that familiar with microvascular procedures. <laughs> But now you have the maestro to teach you what he knows. You and I will rehearse until our symphony begins. You don't have a lot of time. Gabby could stroke out any minute. We will make use of the time we have. Now, here is the crucial area, right here. Now, with conventional techniques, this is already a problem. But with microsurgery, okay? Technique is much more exact. This brings back memories. What? My boat? No way, pal. Deal is a deal. You sold me this boat. You want another one? Go buy another one. I just might do that. I've been a sailor all my life. I can't imagine not doing it anymore. You know, when I was a young man, I planned to sail around the world. <laughs> yeah, so did I. I sailed from Europe to Africa when I was Gabriel's age. Ah. You know, your, your Pacific, it's a very nice ocean. But the smell is different from the Atlantic. Baltic. Ah, the smell of the Baltic. Sound homesick? No. No, it's not there anymore. The people I cared for, the life I loved. Everything was destroyed by the war. Everything. Father Evsky reminds me so much of my grandfather. I can't believe one man could do all this. That is all that we know of. Maybe there were more. Maybe there were worse. This, uh, this guy Strybel was no doctor. He was a... Uh human monster. He mutilated people. The Victor Kosciusko I know isn't capable of doing this. I have no trouble believing it. My mother was in Notzweiler. The Nazis pushed them off the cattle car. Men to one end of the ramp, women and children to the other. Sophia, you don't have to tell me that. Yes, I do. You have to understand. My grandfather begged Schreiber to let his little girl live. The Wunderkind just smiled at them all. Willkommen zum Himmel weg, Juden. Welcome to the path to heaven, Jews. And then he shot my grandfather in the head.
Yes, the Ibu did that. But did Victor go to school? I know I am right. Please believe me. Ah, oh, come on. You don't expect me to believe that. I don't know. If you add up some of the evidence. What evidence? I mean, speculation of 40-year-old photograph too fuzzy to identify anybody doesn't add up to anything, much less a man's career or his life. Well, if it is Stryber, we're talking about more than a man's life. We're talking about 120,000 lives, and Sophia is convinced that he is. Oh, really? Well, now, who is she? I mean, have you checked out her identity, uh, her blood type, her fingerprints? Meaning what? Come on. Okay, she's a bit obsessed. I'll give you that, but she seems to totally believe what she's saying. Gone. She's a nice enough girl, but don't let your feelings get in the way of your judgment, man. How about don't let your feelings for an old friend get in the way of yours? Nice try. Come on, face it. You don't know. When the records are checked in Israel, we will. Uh, and I tell you, timing is everything. And you know, the man's doing surgery on his granddaughter. Last thing in the world he needs right now is something like this. So what are you saying? Forget about it? Let bygones be bygones? Look the other way? No, no, no. The point I'm trying to make is you don't say anything until you have proof. And then you better be damn sure. Dr. Citron, quick phone recovery room. Dr. Carl Citron, call recovery room. Mr. Cosmo. Dr. This is fun. What is it you are trying to do, young Dr. McIntyre? Holding down the floor, it was starting to fall up. <laughs> Today's youth. Oh. Oh. You must multiply your age by two. Then you discipline yourself to do that many push-ups each day. Multiply my age by two? Oh, I didn't do so bad then. I'll be in real trouble when I hit four, though. I get to divide my age by two on chin-ups. <laughs> American fitness. It's pathetic. You're telling me. Sit over here and watch. I'd love to. <sighs> Every day. Every day without fail. You must make some time to do it. What are you looking at? Uh, no, I was, I was just looking at that scar. Is that a, uh, is that a cut or an operation or what? <sighs> Unfit and overly inquisitive. What is it? Something about me or this scar fascinates you? Uh, no, I mean, uh, I mean, it's no big deal. It is. No, I've seen you for the past few days. I can see in your eyes. You look at me as if I was some... some specimen under a microscope. Come on, forget it. No, no, J.D. I will satisfy your curiosity. Though I do so reluctantly, the memories are painful. Sit down. Please. When I was a young man, a boy, the Nazis took her home. They killed my parents. They locked me inside a ghetto cage at Warsaw. Yeah. The scar that so excites your interest. I got it on the barbed wire that kept me in hell for three years. This, you see this? Hmm? I've rubbed and rubbed and rubbed at it for 40 years. It will never leave me. This hatred that I feel, I do not like it. But you must understand, my hatred for the Nazis has been my fool. That hatred 
has kept me alive. Shoot! Punch! The patient at 412, the appendix? Uh, Kathy Stringer. That's the one. Uh, where's the chart? It's in here, somewhere. Ah. Stringer, Stringer, Stringer. Has that man, the uh, one who brought her in, has he uh, been around anymore? Uh-huh. He tiptoes in here once in a while with flowers. Tiptoes? What do you mean, tiptoes? If you ask me, he has all the earmarks of a man with a little wife at home. At home and in the dark. Stringer. What makes you so sure that he's cheating on his wife? Elementary, my dear Stanley. He never visits her at night, and he has a tan line where he removes the wedding ring and hides it. And look, see where it says... Employer, Brad Lohman, occupation, secretary. She's his secretary, Stanley. Bet you she's one of those that does a lot of overtime. Gives secretaries a bad name. Madame Levesseur, I have asked you here today for a reason. I was a young woman, a young mother, when I first saw the Obersturm fear. Those eyes. Madame Levasseur, you were taken to Nordsweiler with your daughters. Yes. My twin daughters, Hélène and jean -Vier. So beautiful. Oh. They were only five years old, my babies. And they were so, so very frightened. They kept asking why they were taken from their beds, why they had come to this place in the train. I could not tell them what I did not know. We were pushed up to the end of the rail. Hey. Women hey. and babies. And then I saw it for the first time. The Wunderkind. We were so young, younger than I. But he looked so happy. He said, Welcome. To the path to heaven, Jews. <laughs> he was taken with my girls, Elaine and Jean Vier, my babies. Jewish twins were a fascination to him. Well, I told him I was only half Jewish, that only my mother was Jewish. If you're only half Jewish, I shall take only half your children. <laughs> I didn't see my Elaine again. She was kept in Stribe's laboratory. I was told he injected her with a typhoid fever to see how strong little Jewish girls could be. Every day, when I walked past the laboratory, I could hear my Elaine crying, screaming. Then one day, I didn't hear her anymore. I didn't hear my baby. Didn't hear her. She died. Thank God, thank God. Then, Stryver took Jean Viev from me. He wanted to know the difference between the autopsy 
on a little girl who died from typhoid fever at an autopsy of her healthy twin sister. The wunderkind let me live. I don't know why. Don't know the reason. He had taken all I had. But I suppose to kill me would have been too kind of a thing for him to do. <laughs> Madame Levasseur. I have seen his eyes again. He is here. He is. People in Israel have compared the records, the dental x-rays, the fingerprints. Victor Kozhosko is Josef Schreiber. There is no question. He hasn't responded to the paging. Security can't find him anywhere in the hospital, and he's not at home. No, he's got to be somewhere. Someone has warned him. We must notify the Justice Department. Well, the U.S. Marshal's after him. He can't get out of the country. That depends. Where are you going? Victor? I had no other choice, Sean. What about Gabby? Her life could depend on you. After all, you've convinced her that you're the maestro. Of all my deceits, that one was the least. I am the maestro. Then save her life. Perhaps we can strike a bargain. I will perform the surgery on Gabriel. If, when I am finished, you will allow me to escape. Now I have no choice. Then she just may die. She's your granddaughter. What kind of a man are you? Hunted. The most dangerous kind. Beware of me, John. You don't really think you can escape, do you? Uh, with your help, I will. You will be my shield just as you have been part of my disguise for the last 15 years. Well, if you make it, you're going to kill me? Again, I have no choice. Shall we prepare to sail? It's hey, trap. What's happening? You will go to trial, Herr Schreiber. You will face your accusers. And their memories. My one regret in life is that the Third Reich did not complete what it began and purify the infection of the human race. Your swine won't hang me, you Jewish whore. in the world, isn't he? Oh, yeah. He's the best. <sighs> Dr. Weiss, please call a page operator.
Irish. you know how grateful I am to you for your help. A friend. I'm sure it was not easy for you. Well, we didn't have much of a choice, did we? No, we did not. You should know that there are perhaps 10,000 Nazi war criminals living in the United States. Only 11 have been denaturalized. Now there will be 12. I am going to celebrate. Would you like to join me? Thank you, no. I, I really don't feel like celebrating. I was released on bail due to my good citizenship and excellent reputation. After what you have done, you just walk free? It seems that clear and convincing proof is somewhat difficult to find after 40 years. So many of the so-called witnesses seem to have died. A pity, yes. U.S. citizenship is a gift. It is difficult to strip away. My attorneys assure me that my appeals will be in the courts until I'm quite an elderly man. Your granddaughter? Oh, yes. How is she? She's fine. It worked. Of course, I knew it would work. She thinks you did it. A gift, doctor. To her. You're not going to see her? No. I think you'll do a better job of explaining what she should know. A warning. She won't believe you. Go to hell. Perhaps. Willkommen zum Himmelswege, Herr Doctor. <laughs> 